which is where we should go into so I could make you a snack. Okay. And before your mom gets back, it's up to us to fix Chloe's blanket problem. Just to be clear, we're talking about Chloe Kardashian, right? No, Chloe, your sister. Not as high profile, but I'll still help. First, we hide her blanket. Next, we tell her it's missing. She'll get upset, but she'll get over it. Then we'll fix this Khloe Kardashian thing. Sure. Chloe! Hey, Daddy. Honey, take a seat. We've got some bad news. Your blanket is gone. What? Your blanket's gone and you have to deal with it. All right, just settle down, Billy. Honey, I know you're sad, but you'll always have it in your heart. I thought it was in the cupboard. <laughs> what Billy means is you'll always keep it in the cupboard in your heart. But it is time to move on. I miss my blankie. She still looks pretty sad. Should I yell at her again? No. <laughs> this is all part of the process. She'll be completely over it in 20 minutes. I miss my blanket! Let's get that blanket back. <laughs> blanket! <gasps> it's gone! What's gone? Oh, 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 my bad mood now that you've returned, sweetie. <laughs> Yes, because we, we don't know where it is. <laughs> Why don't you go look for it upstairs? The blanket doesn't just walk away. Somebody had to have taken it. I bet it was Colosso because he's always up to something and he's snuggling it over there. <laughs> You're so soft. I've been looking for you my whole life. <laughs> Colosso, get your bunny butt off Chloe's blanket. Oh, this is Chloe's? That changes nothing! <laughs> I know it's been a whole day since we lost your blanket, but please stop teleporting things away. It's not under the table. <laughs> that new blanket looks just like Chloe's. There is no way she's going to be able to tell the difference. Chloe! We found your blanket! Blanky! Oh, thank goodness. Where was it? Ah, it doesn't matter. Just as long as Chloe's happy. Do you think I'm a fool? <laughs> we were hoping you were. This blanket's a fake. No, it's not. Yeah, it looks just like the one that we took from you. <laughs> what? What? Goose! <laughs> You look beautiful today. About the blanket. Okay. I know where it is, but you are not going to believe it. Colosso has it? Yes, dear. Ah, oh, you guys are just in time to watch my snuggle party. Snuggle, 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 snuggle. Colosso, give us back that blanket or I'll take it from you myself. Barb, I already tried, and if Thunderman can't open that cage, no one can. <laughs> No fair, you have electrical powers. Here you go, Chloe. Blanky! Ah, oh, that's stuff. I miss my blanky! Calm down, Dr. Bunny. Never! I miss my blanky! Whoa, is that what I sounded like? Uh, yes, when you weren't teleporting all our furniture to. Where is it? Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Planky made me a monster. Here, you keep it. Oh, Planky! I missed your soft touch. <laughs> Phoebe, Max, meet your new baby sister. Chloe Thunderman. <gasps> Told you it would be a girl. Still making her evil. <laughs> 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 
You're welcome. Thanks, Dr. Colosso. Oh, kids. Superheroes need a 12-hour recharge nap after giving birth, so let's give your mom some privacy. Oh, it's okay, Hank. You know, I don't think I'll need to... I'm very happy for you. Thanks. I was talking to Chloe. I'm happy she looks nothing like you. <laughs> wow, look who emptied her bottle. Again! If you keep eating like this, you're gonna have your first superhero growth spurt today. <laughs> you should have seen your first growth spurt. You doubled in size. <laughs> Max's first spurt was all in his diaper. Speaking of diapers, I thought you sent Billy and Nora out for supplies. Yeah, with a hundred dollars cash. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> uh, better go find him. Thunderman! Oh, Dad, wait! you can't go to the ceiling with the baby in the room! <laughs> Thunderman! Going out the back. <laughs> then, all <away! sighs> Looks like it's just you and me, huh, Chloe? Yes, it is. Hi. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, Bubbles? Even your superpower is adorable. Alert, alert. Angry Cherry approaching. Uh oh. All right, Chloe, you're about to learn the hardest part of being a superhero, keeping it a secret from your best friend. Help me out. Sure. Hey, Cherry. Oh, uh. <laughs> I am so, so sorry I had to run out on you. How'd it go? Let's see. As soon as you left, I got nervous again and started loud talking. Then Joey went to the bathroom and never came back. And Neil made me drink buffalo wings. <laughs> Is that a baby? What? No, uh, it's my stomach. All that liquid bread. <sighs> No, that's a baby. <laughs> uh, where did she come from? Well, when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. Baby. Hey, hey, <laughs> Cherry. Uh, meet my new baby sister, Chloe. You have a new baby sister and you didn't even tell me? Don't be mad at Phoebe, you guys are friends. <laughs> are we? Honestly, I feel like you're always hiding things from me. Look, I know, the truth is, I do have a lot of secrets. I just can't tell you any of them. What kind of best friends don't tell each other everything? <sighs> Guess that's my answer. <laughs> Hold on, Chloe, your bottle's almost ready. Help! Villains are lowering me into a vat of hermit crabs! Aw. Chloe's first words were, help, villains are lowering me into a vat of hermit crabs. <laughs> Wait, what? Please, if anyone is listening, tell Dad I'm at the old broccoli factory in Metroburg. <laughs> Cherry, I'm so glad you're still here. I had no choice. I'm not allowed to ride my bicycle angry. <laughs> hey, look, I know you're still mad at me, but I really need a favor. I need you to watch Chloe while I go run an errand. Where? To the secret store to buy more secrets? <laughs> Support the head. Thank you. <laughs> Thunderman, stop! Get in, Cherry. It's time I tell you everything. Cherry! Uh, I need you to tickle Chloe now! What? Uh, okay! Bubbles didn't do that before. Well, also didn't do that. 
Okay, Chloe, we've got until tomorrow to get you ready for the pageant. Let's work on your thunder wave. Spin the light bulb, wipe the window, and fade. I've been waving all wrong. You sure have, honey, but Daddy is going to fix it. <clears throat> now, first, we got to figure out what talent you want to showcase. How about my tele-handspring? Ta-da! Oh, it's like you inherited my looks and my talent. <laughs> now, if you're going to win this thing, you have to be able to answer questions under pressure. But what if I don't know what to say? Easy. The answer is always world peace. Crowds eat that up. Now, I'm going to spin you to simulate how nervous and disoriented you'll be on stage. Ready? Young lady, what do you want to be when you grow up? World peace? Oh. Yeah, good, Chloe. You didn't land on your face. Are a lot of work. It'll all be worth it when they hand that trophy to me. Don't you mean me? Uh, world peace? Pop the hip, Chloe. It's a sassy walk, not a gassy walk. Is this better? No, 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 no. No. Watch. See? Confidence! You keep on practicing while I see where Colosso is with your dress. Barb, she's at a three. I need her at an eight. Oh, you're working so hard, sweetie. Are you excited for the pageant? Daddy is. And what about you? Daddy is. I wanted to talk to you about Chloe. And I'm worried she may not be as into the pageant as you are. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, look how much fun she's having practicing her sassy walk. <sighs> Pageantry! See? Time of her life. I don't know. She... Trust me, Barb, she's loving it. And she's gonna love her new hair. The bigger the hair, the bigger the trophy! Now it's time for the question and answer segment. So, Chloe, if you had any superpower, what would that be? World peace. Well, the good news is no one in the audience is gonna be hungry later. But why is that? Because they are eating this up! Question. If you could just have one wish, what would that be? I wish I had a magical unicorn <laughs> that poops world peace. <laughs> That's my daughter! That's my daughter! <laughs> now, Chloe, tell us what you're going to be doing in the talent round coming up. Ooh, I can't wait for everyone to see her tele handsprings. Oh, well, for some reason, she decided to do my ribbon dance. <laughs> Her. She is not having fun. Ah, this is not supposed to be fun, Barb. This is war. Uh, big Hank? Oh, good, little Hank. I saved your seat. The lady's right. Chloe's miserable out there trying to make our dream come true. Uh, I think a miserable is a little strong, don't you think? Pageantry. <laughs> okay, I see it. What have I done? Nothing that can't be undone, big guy. I'll be at the snack bar. That is one wise imaginary boy. Were you talking to little Hank? No, I was listening to him. Chloe, stop. I need to accept that I lost this pageant all those years ago. I shouldn't have made you enter this one. I'm sorry. I forgive you, Daddy. Oh, let's go home. Wait, there's something you have to do first. Really? Show them how it's done, baby. <laughs> what did you do? I got a haircut. <laughs> oh no, if 
if mom and dad see that, we're gonna be toast. I know how to fix this. <laughs> Bull cut, bam! <laughs> you don't deserve to wear that hat. How are we gonna put this back on her head? How about this staple guy? <laughs> Give me that! <sighs> mom and dad are gonna be so mad that we changed our cute baby sister into a teleporting nubby-haired freak! This is what we get for leaving the scissors out. By the way, I don't think we ever put them away. What? We better find them before Chloe gets them. I got another haircut. <laughs> Everything okay, kids? They're coming, double snuggle. We heard yelling. What happened? Nothing. Just snuggling with my sisters. We're tight, yo. Two haircuts. Yeah. <laughs> Cooler than two haircuts, son! <laughs> that was close. And embarrassing for all involved. <laughs> There's got to be another way to cover her hat. How? We're the only people we know who make hats, and I just stapled myself to the cabinet. <laughs> I'm a good baby! <laughs> yeah, you do. And I made one for Colosso. <laughs> You know he was gonna ask for it. What is on Chloe's head? It's the new hat we made her out of love that she wants to wear forever. Please let her wear it forever. Remember how we wanted to make the many months of Chloe calendar? Oh my gosh, she's a perfect May right now. Can you guys make a hat for each month? No way, that's like 70 hats. <laughs> Let's just make the hats ourselves, Bart. You grab the paper, I'll grab Chloe and the scissors. Yay, scissors! <laughs> I'm ready for a close-up. All right, we're almost done with the hats. We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead! <laughs> Look, we're gonna be in trouble no matter what. Maybe we'll get in less trouble if we just admit what we did. The truth? We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead! <laughs> Okay, where are the scissors? Um, you were using them for July. Oh, good. Chloe has them. <laughs> Chloe has them! Oh! What have we done? <laughs> Mom, Dad, we have a confession. Whatever it is, it can wait. Chloe cut her hair because we left the scissors out. You did? I mean, you did? <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. This could happen to anyone. Like, literally anyone in this room could have made the same exact mistake. Okay. <laughs> Hank, you grab Chloe. We're going to the hair salon. Yay, more sizzle! <laughs> Without using a parachute. Oh, I didn't come by plane. My scientist at Blobco catapulted me here. <laughs> Being indestructible is fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this Chloe? <gasps> oh, do you have a hug for your cousin Blobbin? Is he the witch one? Filthy. Cousin Blobbin! No! Oh, Hank and I have so much trouble leaving our babies behind. Right, Hank? Hank? Oh, okay, I guess we're leaving. Okay, all right, kids, be good. Don't worry, they're in safe hands. <laughs> hey, who wants to launch a rocket tonight? Whoa! Cool rocket, can I want it? No, Chloe, it's dangerous. Also, you didn't call them Stibs. Sorry, I can't let any of you write it. Just a quick spin around the Milky Way. Nora, it's for traveling through space, not milk. Milky Way is the name of our galaxy. I thought it was Herman. Blobco build is to send care packages to my space station. That's right, I have a space station. Let's blast it already. On the count of three. Three! What? Isn't that cool, Chloe? Where'd she go? <gasps> oh no! Did she get in the rocket? Chloe! She 
she belongs to Herman now. I have to save her. She must be so scared. I know. We were a terrible couple. You can do battle. Soon they will see Colosso is a more responsible babysitter than Blobbin will ever be. No, don't touch it! Look for anything that will shoot Blobbin into space to save Chloe. I found fireworks! And I found spray cheese! Break it all! And grab the crackers! Okay, Chloe, you can come out now. Did I win? Not until you hear the fire engines. <laughs> Start me an engine. Fire thrusters. Rocket boosters, go! You're indestructible. You're indestructible. You're indestructible. Hi, guys. What's going on? Hold on, Chloe. We're coming to save you. Poop over a villain, especially an indestructible one who works for free. Love it. You can babysit anytime you want. Yay! Yay! Here come the fire engines! I win! Hi, Max! Get on my room, baby. Aw, look at our sweet little angel playing with her. <laughs> You'd pick up your toys. I know, but it's so much easier not to. Chloe, if you say you're gonna do something, you do it. A thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Okay, I'll clean up. Woohoo! Oh no, that sounds like. Oh. Greetings, Thunder Fam. Are you floating? Floating? <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> no, I'm on an invisible skateboard. Oh, uh, Chloe, he's probably tired. <laughs> so listen, I'm here because my scientist at Blobco started a fashion division. Oh, you're making clothes now? Is there a family discount? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I want Thunderman to be the face of our new fall line. Oh, mm, Robin, I mean, I'm flattered, but you know, I'm retired as a superhero. Oh, but you've been the face of so many products. That is true. You can sell anything. Well, I am pretty amazing. <laughs> then you'll promise you'll help me? I promise. Ah! Right, where do I sign? Right here, on this invisible contract. Oh. <laughs> underwear? <laughs> Not just underwear, it's Thunderwear. <laughs> it makes the everyday person look and feel like a superhero. Daddy's a butt face. <laughs> Robin, my face does not belong on your tidy brighties. Oh, you don't sound as excited as I thought you'd be. Because you put my cheeks on people's cheeks. Well, we ordered two million of these, and operators are standing by. You're not going to break your promise, are you? My daddy would never break a thunder promise. Of course he wouldn't. I won't break my promise. I'll be your butt face. <laughs> Thank goodness, because we're having a Thunderwear launch party later today at Splatburger, and I need you to wear these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! The man of thunder is wearing my unders! <laughs> oh, Hank, I've never seen Blobbin this excited. Yeah, me either. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what? No, I'm not gonna embarrass myself in a restaurant full of people. You're not gonna help Blobbin? Yes, he is, Chloe, because your daddy promised, and a thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Uh, unless a giggling rich guy wants to put your face on his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we had another box of Thunder Manicotti. Oh, expired three years ago. 
I'll take my chances. <laughs> it's like I'm standing on a family of stingrays. Chloe! Hey, guys, what's up? Why are your toys everywhere? You promised you'd pick up your toys. So, you didn't keep your promise to blob in. Later! Pink, this is what you get for breaking your thunder promise in front of Chloe. I think you know what you need to do. Sorry about the two-hour drum roll, but I don't think our special guest is gonna show. Think again! <gasps> Where were you? I forgive you, strut your stuff! <laughs> and now, former superhero, Thunderman! Oh, look at him rocking those thunderwear. So fierce, so comfortable. The breathable cotton allows me to stay super cool when I'm dropping the kids off at school or showing up at Splatburger to keep my promises. And with our patented stretch and snap technology, say goodbye to saggy, drooping drawers. Goodbye, saggy, drooping drawers. <laughs> Amazing, just like underwear. Now, who wants a pair? <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Buy none, get two free. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, Blobbin. They can't all be winners or make sense. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. At least I didn't put my face on it. <laughs> Catch you later, Thunder fam. I am proud of you, honey. Oh, well, I don't care how silly I look as long as our little girl learns her lesson. Goodbye, saggy drooping jaws. <laughs> Howdy do! Gather around, farm girls, and let's get into the McBooger spirit with some hay facials, a little jug band music, and... We stay watching Best Chefs forever? Pin the tail on the alpaca! What's an alpaca? Oh, uh, it's kind of like a fluffy dog that spits. Mom's family raised alpacas on their farm. Yeah. What you watching? Shh! Girls! No phones on the farm! Now, as we used to say back home, alpaca these up for later. All right, well, who's ready for a little jug band jamboree? Me. Okay. You know, back in the day, the McBooger Barnyard Band was considered the most respected jug band in the tri-state area. Were there many jug bands in the tri-state area? No, just us. <laughs> oh, Phoebe's okay. She's been gone a while. She better be back soon because it's my turn to go to the outhouse. <laughs> to hurry back. She is not going to want to miss me jamming out on my spoons. Hit me with some cowbell, Chloe. First, I got to hit this dirt juice. <laughs> ah, that's farm fresh. <laughs> no! I can't believe you two. Mom, we can explain. Explain what? That you pretended to go to the outhouse so you could sneak down here and avoid my girls' night? Oh, so you're all caught up. Well, don't worry. There will never be another McBooger Girls' Night. Wait, Mom. Wow, really broke Mom's heart. Yeah, I've never seen her do that before. Well, if you're getting to Mommy, you better fix it. Chloe, I already told you, McBooger Knight's a McBust. You sure about that? Howdy Hi. do! What's going on? We behaved like a couple of cow patties, so we're giving you the McBooger Girls Night of your dreams. A real alpaca? Girls, you don't have to pretend anymore. I know you don't want to do my girls night. Just enjoy the jug band sounds of the Thunder Gals. <laughs> well, there ain't no jugging if you don't have fun. Well, there ain't no jugging if she works so hard with the family in her life. Make a sweet, sweet music. Family in her life, like there's nothing to it. A country girl at heart. I'm a booger through and through. Looks smart, white and power too. With her family in her heart. And her
don't think she liked the song. <laughs> Girls, is, is this a wild alpaca? Uh, we don't know. Colosso helped us find it. <laughs> Girls, take cover! I think she's a spitter. Phoebe, freeze up, fluffy bee. No, no, I'll handle it. I was the best alpaca barker in the tri-state area. Were there many? Actually, yes. They taught it at the high school. Okay. She wants to hear an apology from all of us. Are you sure? Just do it. Dear little friend. Wow, Mom, that was beyond impressive. And we are beyond sorry. We never should have put our show above your girls' night. We know how important they are to you. Well, it's not the activities I look forward to. I'd be happy doing anything as long as I'm doing it with my girls. Best make butter night ever! <laughs> Kids, do you like toys and ice cream? Yes. yes. Then you'll love Scoop Du Jour's ginormous Super Scoop Ice Cream Drone Sunday. Ooh. Delivered straight to your door by a super cool flying drone. Available for a limited time only. Awesome. Can we get one? Well, you bet your hot fudge we can. Eating ice cream from a flying robot will make a fantastic family memory. Couldn't agree more. It's moments like that why we had four kids. Five. Five kids. <laughs> Then it's settled. We're getting that Sunday. Yay! Just not today. Yay! What? what? It's, we told you. Your dad and I are going to Metroburg Theater to see a play. I got us front row seats to Annie Get Your Ray Gun. Take notes, kids. This is how you husband. You'll enjoy that Sunday even more when we can all share it together. I promise. Be good, kids. Okay, bye. So we're ordering that Sunday, right? Already ordered it. <laughs> but mommy and daddy said to wait till we can make memories. The commercial said it's for a limited time only. That means that they might run out. Oh, you did the right thing. <laughs> it's here, it's here! <laughs> Let them know we ate that ice cream. Tuck in your gut. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, parents, you're drone early. Sorry, I meant drone. Uh, turns out the tickets were for next week. Take notes, kids. This is not how to husband. But the good news is we can eat the ginormous Super Scoop ice cream drone Sunday together. What? A uh, good idea. That sounds awesome. We ordered it on the drive home. Mm -hmm. That must be it. It's pooping amazing. Yay, more ice cream! Uh, I mean, ice cream for the first time today! Here we go. Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Do this. Neither can I. What? We thought you guys wanted the ice cream drone Sunday. We did, which is why we ate one two hours ago. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> We're really sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I'm never saying ice cream again. Dang it! Well, we're still gonna have to punish you guys. Yeah, you two are grounded. 
And how are we supposed to eat all this ice cream by ourselves? Wait, where'd it go? In my belly, buttheads! <laughs> Save some for me, Dr. Bunny. Hank, the awards are this weekend and I have nothing to wear. Me neither. Let's go shopping, baby. Ooh, sweetie, you're too little to come to the awards with the rest of the family. You'll have to stay home with the babysitter. Okay, but I'm still going shopping. Super Manny, at your service. Cool, how'd you do that? Monitor travel is one of my babysitting powers. Others include creating toys and disinfecting playground equipment. With my mind. <laughs> Ooh, Chloe is gonna love you, I'll get her. Please, allow me to fetch the girl. Jumpity bumpity boom! <laughs> Who's up for a bounce? Bouncy house! <laughs> She doesn't care, let's go. Thunderman's getting awards! You must be very excited for your parents. They're going to be recognized by Metroburg's finest heroes. Cake Man, Super Viking, Paws Girl. Paws Girl? Yes, Paws Girl. I hear it's the first award show she's ever attended. Hey, Super Manny, watch me bounce! Coming young, miss. We blew it. If we don't go to those awards, we may never have another chance to meet Paws Girl. I was thinking the same thing. To the Soup Awards! <laughs> what are these? Another one of my powers is keeping kids on a short leash. I've never had a child run away on me. I'm hungry, Super Manny. Then prepare for some tasty weather. We have to meet Paws Girl. You know what we need? Yep, an invisible dinosaur with a taste for mischief. <laughs> what? No. Good, because I definitely don't have one of those. Shh, quiet, Rexy. <laughs> I'm talking about Colosso. He can distract Supermaning with one of his weird fashion lectures. <sighs> Let's find Paws Girl before Mom and Dad realize we're here. <laughs> Our feet are stuck to the ground. Indeed they are. <laughs> because you two are grounded. <laughs> Cheeky, right? Billy, Nora. Apologies, Thunder Parents. They snuck here, but I promise I will not lose one of your children again. You're it. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe! Pause girl's here somewhere. We have to find her. Uh, no, Billy. Wait, we came here to meet our hero, but our real heroes are Mr. and Mrs. Goober over there. Here's your child. Congrats on the award. I'm never babysitting for you again. He needs a nap. Oh, oh, looks like we have a little gymnast on our hands. Oh, either that or she's doing the pee-pee dance. <laughs> Gymnastics. Oh, how could we say no to that face? Of course you can do gymnastics. Yay! Oh. <laughs> well, gymnastics class, huh? You sure you guys are ready for that? <laughs> we'll be fine, Phoebe. I'm just saying, I remember quite a few Saturdays that turned into the Hank and Barb show. Hank, talk to your daughter. Don't worry, I will keep an eye on your mom. And who's gonna keep an eye on you? And who's gonna keep an eye on you? <laughs> Chloe hasn't done anything all class. I mean, maybe we should join in, make her feel more comfortable. Yeah, for a minute or two, but for Chloe. Of course, for Chloe. Chloe, how come you aren't jumping around like you do at home? I don't wanna. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Watch. You think you could do a little more for everyone to get the kids into it? I'm sorry, Coach Gibbons, but we're not really dressed for that. <laughs> no, no, we, we are! are. <laughs> 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 Thank you! We are the Tumblemen! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, I'm ready now! Oh, in a minute, sweetie. I think the kids want 
more tumble men. Yeah! Okay, get off the mat, sweetie. I think these nice people are trying to take our picture. Huh? <laughs> okay. All right, Hank, this is it. Let's do the Tumbleman's twisty flip and throw. Oh, Trish, you heard we never even gotten it right. Today is our day. We both knew this was happening when we squeezed in these tights and hid them under our clothes. Okay, let's do it. So, your father and I went undercover and joined the circus to catch a villain. But we caught more than a villain on that mission. We caught tumble fever. Mm -hmm. We also caught a real fever. That's because clowns don't wash their hands. <laughs> Since then, having you kids in these classes, it's our only chance to get our tumble on. We got carried away and forgot the real reason we came here. For you. Yeah, we're sorry. So what do you say, hmm? Feel like doing some gymnastics? Can I do it with the tumblemen? Oh, sure. I just wish we had one of those cool costumes for you. <laughs> the tumblemen's always prepared. You'd have remembered that if you hadn't gotten clown fever. All right, guys, this is it. Let's give them the tumbleman twisty flip and throw. Yeah. with me. Sorry, Chloe, but we're in the middle of a live chat with our fans. Live chat with me? We'd love to, but you're not really trending right now. <laughs> Kids, play with your sister. Yeah, I know being famous is exciting, but in this house, family comes first. Mm -hmm. Chloe, would you rather we play with you now or play Unicorn Tea Party with you tomorrow morning? Unicorn Tea Party! <laughs> Guys, that was not okay. He's right, Billy. We could give you a quick apology now. Our heartfelt one tomorrow morning. Oh, I guess tomorrow morning. Great. Come on, Billy. We promised the fans that we'd show them your rub toe. Hey, this unicorn tea party isn't gonna have itself. Oh, no. I totally forgot. Sorry, Chloe. We'll just have to do it later. Our fans need us. But I made so much pretend tea. Forget it, Chloe. They're obviously not coming. I feel bad for her, but there's just not enough time to respond to all our fans. Unless we gather all of our fans in one place, we could greet them all at the same time. Like a convention. We could call it ThunderCon. Billy, that's brilliant. Why don't you come up with ideas like this all the time? Ow! Brain pain! <laughs> I'll send a ThunderCon invite to our fans. I don't think so. Chloe just said you ditched her again, and now you're planning some sort of ThunderCon? We could get you in a half price. <gasps> half price bar? I mean, no. We warned you about putting fame before family, and you obviously did not listen. Yeah, no ThunderCon, and no more chatting with your fans. It's really you. Hashtag Nordator for life. I love your bow. I love your bow more. And your breakfast pics? Amaze. You know, I actually made that toast with my lasers. Check it out. Ow! Whoops. Sorry, Billy. She needs your Billy! It's cool, guys. It happens all the time. You hear that? Little bow creep has zapped him before. Hey, no one talks about our queen like that. Right, Nordators? Right! Well, no one lasers are king, right, Believers? Right! Can't we all agree that Billy and I are both great? She thinks she's as good as Billy! Some more pretend tea, please. Here you go. Hello, 
Hello? Call me! Billy and I are in trouble. We need your help. I can help you. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> exposed has obviously prevented you from being effective superheroes, there's only one thing to do. Never tell the Z-Force and also don't tell the Z-Force? Oh, I told the Z-Force. I meant I'm going to have to relocate you somewhere where you can be undercover again. Wait, we have to move? We're getting up when we talk again? Is it moving a little extreme? This town loves the Thundermans. <laughs> My gosh, the hair wear pop-up is coming to Hidville! The hair what now? <laughs> it's like a temporary store that sells hats, headbands, and bows. Lots and lots of bows. Oh, well, it happened in the market for a new sun visor. Blocks the sun from a face, but leaves my head free to breathe. Yeah, your last eight went mysteriously missing. Nora, will you hunt me by my first bow? <gasps> your whole life for you to say that. <laughs> Yay! It's my bow mitzvah! <laughs> now our castle looks like it needs some ketchup. I'll go get some. Stace, look, her ketchup pumping game is flawless. <gasps> and so is her bow game. Yes! <laughs> I don't know if you know I can hear you, but I can. <laughs> She's throwing shade. I love her. I'm Stacy. This is Heather. I'm Nora, and I know who you are. You're the girls who made headbands and fedoras cool again. Big fan. Wait, light bulb. Brilliance! We should all go to the hair wear pop-up tomorrow. You guys want to hang out with me? Headbands, fedoras, bows. It just makes sense. That would be great. Oh my gosh, are we becoming a squad? Yes! <laughs> Oh, wait, I just remembered. I promised I'd go to that pop-up with my sister. <laughs> but maybe I can bring her along. Hold on, pause, full stop. You wanna hang out with your little sister? Yeah. Dislike. <laughs> Nora, hanging with us is hanging with friends. Hanging with your little sister is just babysitting for free. It's okay. Maybe she doesn't wanna become part of a fashion for a trio. No, I do. I can babysit my sister whenever. For money, Avi. So is that a yes? No. It's a yes! Yes! <laughs> Bad news, guys. I can't go to the pop-up. I have scout mites. <gasps> scout mites? Ew! <laughs> I mean, how are you feeling? Mostly worried that they are gonna be at the pop-up, which is why you guys should get out of here and do something else with the rest of your day. But what about our bows? We can get bows another time. I'm sure another pop-up will pop up. That's why they're called pop-ups. <laughs> we'll all see you guys in four to six hours after whatever non-pop-up activity you choose. Bye, Nora. Ah, she knows we love her. Let's just go. <laughs> Feel better? I do now. Blue fedora or orange fedora? Both. Yes! Oh, gee, Nora, we haven't had this much fun with someone who isn't us in forever. Aren't you glad you didn't bring your baby sister? Uh-oh. Look, Mommy, there's bows over there. Nora, is this adorable or fed ugly? Hey, where'd she go? I don't know. I think that hat's from last season. Ew! <laughs> Chloe, it is so sweet of you to risk getting scout mites so you can buy a bow for you and Nora. If I see one person scratch, we are out of here. Well, actually, Barb, place looks clear, which means it's visor time! I'm gonna go find a supervisor to help me find a super visor. Oh, oh I hate his hats, but I love his jokes. These aren't special enough for Nora. 
Well, what do you mean, Chloe? I want to get her the best bow because she's the best big sister ever, baby. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll keep looking until we find the perfect bow for Nora. There you are! We found you a bow. It brings out our eyes, so when we stand next to you, we totally pop. <laughs> Love it. Grateful. New plan. Let's go to the mall and buy hair stuff there. Is this because of your family? Don't worry, they're clueless. <laughs> what do you mean, clueless? It means we saw your family and your little sister was all like, I love my big sister, she's the best, baby. She doesn't sound like that. Actually, that was pretty good. But she could be anywhere having fun, and she chose to come here for me. Well, do you want to hang out with us or your baby sister? You guys... Yes! ...are awful! <laughs> and that yes thing you're doing is weird. It's yes with an E. <laughs> Hold on, are your scalp mites gone? Yeah, I got rid of them to hang out with my little sister. Aww. It's bow mitzvah time! Ooh, cutie cows on. Oh. Can we all watch it together? Of course we can, sweetie! I don't remember Hootie having any rules. Hey, Billy, let's find our old Hootie DVDs and show them to Chloe. No, you're not. <laughs> you wouldn't find them anyway. I hid those a long time ago. <laughs> That's cute when they try to hide things. Chloe, we have something for you. <gasps> cool, an owl. Not just any owl. Check this out. Hootie don't care. Ooh, ooh, Hootie don't care. What you ooh. think about that? <laughs> Excuse me, Hootie. Could you please help me carry my groceries? Hootie don't care. <laughs> that was funny. I don't remember Hootie harassing grandmas. <laughs> Hootie, you can't just eat that candy without paying. That's still. Who don't care? Who don't care? Who don't care? What do you think about Maybe we shouldn't have shown that to Chloe. She's a good kid. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care. This is your fault. Where's Chloe? I about this. Good luck with that. Hootie's her master now. <laughs> no way. We just gotta put our foot down. Chloe Thunderman, get up here this instant! <laughs> We've had enough of this, young lady. No more Chloe don't care, and no more Hootie. That was a mistake. <laughs> You can't lock us out. Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care? You showed her hootie the... <laughs> it's pronounced owl. Come on, we've been out here long enough. We need to talk about this. Hello? Chloe don't care. <laughs> 
that's it. I am breaking the door down. Hank, it doesn't matter if we're inside or outside. The problem is she stopped caring. We need to find something that she cares about again. Chloe loves watching Cutesy Cow with us. We can do that. That's a great idea, Nora. <sighs> Look, everyone, it's Cutesy Cow. Let's watch it together as a family. <laughs> We all know what she's going to say. <laughs> well, now what? Uh, uh, Uh-oh. Uh, Hank, you uh, sound like you're coming down with a cold. No, 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 no way. I am Thunder Man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's, he's going to super sneeze. Uh oh <laughs> That's sweet, honey, but Daddy's fine. Not you. That. <laughs> you hear that, Billy? She cares again. That's great. 